We just want to give praises unto Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father. Double praises unto the Mashiach, Yah Savior. Double praises unto the Ruach, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Wisdom that gives us this knowledge to understand Bible prophecy and opens our eyes up to this truth. Barak, Habah, Bishem, blessed be he who comes in the name of Yahweh, blessed be his name. Barak, Ata, Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, HaOlan, blessed art thou, O Yahweh, our God, King of the Universe. All praises go to all three of them. Now this is a song that I saw a while ago, and it's just full of promotion of the... It's just promotion of the Egyptians, that's all it really is. Now we know what the Egyptians do. The Egyptians were involved in satanic stuff. They were involved in witchcraft and all that. They were involved in sex rituals. They were involved in... If you look at the ancient art, you'll see they were always performing sex, sex acts. Because that's who they really were. And this here represents the phoenix, the rise of the phoenix. This is why I'm showing this, because that's what they promote in this music video. The phoenix, right there. As we see, it's no surprise, we see the other songs that they've done. I all sing I, one hand over the, one hand over the one eye. Then the Masonic checkerboard floor, 666 hand sign there, Illuminati triangle there, pyramid standing inside the Illuminati pyramid. There we go with the one eye symbolism. 666 hand sign right there. The skull and bones, then the lightning bolt. We all know what the lightning bolt represents. Represents the fall of Lucifer. And I beheld Satan fall from heaven like lightning. Then we have the skull and bones and the pagan love heart, which is satanic. Now we go with the Illuminati pyramid right there. Right there, standing inside the Illuminati pyramid, because they are Illuminati sellouts. There we go, Illuminati pyramid in the background, and then another one. And now you'll understand this. They show this in the music video because an anubis is is this garbage again six 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 again Illuminati pyramid masters of the sun worship of the sun paganism that's exactly what this is and one eye symbolism there worship of the sun which is paganism. It's exactly what the Egyptians don't worship the sun as a god. They called it the sun god, as we know, Horus and Osiris were known as basically gods of the sun, which is complete garbage. There's no god of the sun, it's just the garbage. Now we have the Masonic checkerboard floor right there, lightning bolt, because again, these people are sellouts. And that's just the fact. I don't know what the front up there, I can hardly see it, but you see the Masonic checkerboard floor there, and then the lightning bolt. And then you see the Illuminati pyramid here, one there, you see it. You see right there, the Illuminati pyramid again. Then we see another song, Meet Me Hot, this is... I got the power. No, it's actually boom or whatever. I haven't listened to this song for years. I'm not going to remember the name, but we see the one eye symbolism there. The Illuminati pyramid. Again, the li list just goes on. It's like the front 666 hand sign there. Right there, 666 hand sign. One eye symbolism. Illuminati pyramid. Illuminati Pyramid, Pyramids. So it shouldn't be a surprise with the new song, what they're promoting. It shouldn't be a surprise. From the Devil Horns, 666 hand sign. The Baphomet right there. Then the 666 hand sign 
again. It's right there. And this is the 666 hand time. Because as we know, Michael Jackson used to throw it up this way. There's many ways to throw the 666 hand sign. It still means what it means. And there we go. The light bulb represents Lucifer. What are the odds of putting a light bulb right next to the lightning bulb? Represents Lucifer, the false enlightenment. That the Luciferians believe that Satan is the true light. Bible says Satan manstrates itself as an angel of life. And it's no surprise that servants also do the same. No surprise at all. And we see there, this could be a coincidence, but not really. Performing a pyramid. And I said, hand over the one eye. And there we go again. Pyramid, what it says on that, I don't know. And there we go, pyramid. Of course, they have to promote that space nonsense. Like, oh, we've been on the moon. Space exists. No, it doesn't. Space doesn't exist. It's all garbage. Again, you understand what this means. You know, this, this is what it means. And as you see, this is another member of Black Eyed Peas thrown out the false peace sign. You'll see this. This is what this is. First, they start the music video off like this. This um, pyramid just starts flying in the air, because this is the ain't, this is the agenda that they, they, they've been promoting in history for so long. Oh, the 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 pyramids of Egypt was built by aliens. It was built by demons. It was built by aliens. No, it wasn't. If you actually look at the pyramid in Egypt, you'll see the small the small stones. It was built by the slaves. That's who it was built by. It was not built by the the Illuminati or aliens. There's pyramids all over the world. They were not built by aliens. This is her agenda. Man built them. But they want... People today want to believe in their own garbage. And believe that aliens exist. Aliens don't exist. They don't exist. And it's time people accept that. It's all part of this. This is what they promote. That one day these pyramids are going to... Just come out the ground and fly up like damn alien spaceships it's not gonna happen it's never gonna happen because again these pyramids were built by man they're just stones that's all they are stones they are they were not built by demons they were not built by aliens they were not built by anyone but man pyramids all over the world were built by man there's one in mexico that performed satanic sacrifices. Most of these pyramids you see around the world were just created so they can perform satanic sacrifices. And there we go, this is what it's a part of, this ancient alien nonsense on the so-called history channel, which is not really history, it's just garbage and lies. And again, this is what they promote. Oh, aliens... An alien spaceship was caught flying over these three pyramids. Yeah, sure it was. Stop lying. These pyramids were built by man, not aliens. It's garbage. And again, this, like I said, Anubis, which is known as, like I said... Where is it? This. Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of the dead was ex extolled as the guide and protector of spirits. Again, this is just a mockery of the Messiah. This is all it really is, another false Messiah. As it said, Jesus said in his own words, that I know when I go that false Christ shall arise. This is a false Christ, portraying to be Christ. Because uh, again, the, the protector of spirits, just a joke.
Now we go, you see what I'm talking about, this alien nonsense, the UFO, and all this crap, saying that, oh, there's aliens inside these things, it's aliens, well, let me tell you something, it's not aliens, it's called Fallen Angels, it even says it, 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 said it, in the, it says it in the Book of Enoch as well, it explains the, where these things came from, they were created by the devil. They were created by the devil. Oh, but let's just ignore that and say that these things were created by aliens. No, they weren't. Aliens don't exist. They don't exist. They are demons. Fallen angels. Now we go standing in front of a Illuminati pyramid. Red, black, white. All colors of Freemason and Satanism. There we go. The worship of the Sphinx. That's all this is, the worship of the Egyptians. There you go with the Illuminati Pyramid, with the worship of the Sphinx. And there we go, the Illuminati Pyramid in the background. And then what have we got? The Sun Worship. Paganism. We got there, the worship of the Sun. Because these people worship the Sun. They worship her. The Egyptians worshipped the sun as well. They believed that it was a power, a source of energy, that they could get energy from it. It's garbage. Absolute garbage. It's just a cult. They worshipped the sun, they worshipped the moon, and then they, they again they try to connect this garbage and say, oh, the Egyptians were connected to the Anunnaku, and then they start promoting this a bunch of garbage nonsense, saying that, oh, the Anunnaki, that's where the Bible originated from. No, it didn't. The Bible has been around long before all these fake tablets were even made. You actually look at the Sumerian tablets, it's fake. It's been proven that it's fake. It's nothing but a forgery. It's a forgery. The Bible has been around. All these so-called monuments around the world is, is just the copy of the Bible. You'll see in different cultures that they mention the flood of Noah. All, and, but it, all it is is a copy and paste of the Bible in their own interpretation. The Bible says not to go off your own interpretation. And there we go, there we go right there, we see right here, these monuments here, this represents the phallic, the man's, you know what, the Washington one monument, the Vatican, that's what this represents, a man's you know what, and it equals 666. And then we had the Illuminati pyramid in the background, then we had the enlightenment, the shining of the Illuminati. Then we had the V hand sign. All satanic garbage. That's all it is. It's worship of the sun. That's all it is. Standing inside the Illuminati pyramid again. Again. And then we see Illuminati pyramid again. Illuminati pyramid. Standing there all the time. They don't just do this for a by accident. There we go. Black, white and red. That garbage again. And now we have this. This represents the phoenix. The rise of the phoenix. The rise of the phoenix, which is the rise of the devil, the Antichrist himself. As we've seen, it's got Illuminati pyramid in the background. So again, Illuminati. And now we go again with this ancient alien garbage that some one day that this the the pyramids are just gonna take off the ground and they're just going to start flying around no this is not going to happen and it never will happen this is never going to happen simple as that this is not going to happen and it never will it's just a joke there ain't no such thing as ancient air aliens the pyramid is not an the pyramid is not no spaceship it's garbage and there we go it starts to open. We see right there it starts to open. Like it's some damn spaceship or something. It's a joke. 
and people actually believe this crap and all. Oh, they actually believe that the pyramid is a spaceship from aliens. You gotta be kidding me. It's a joke. It really is a joke. Again, this worship of the pharaoh or what... Or it's either the pharaoh or it's... Tort. King Tort. Now we go with the devil horns, throwing the devil horns out right there, two fingers or two fingers in. There we go with the V hand sign, which is also the buff in the hand sign. Ain't no peace in this world. And there we go, the worship of this, like I said, this is the worship of the so-called. They believe, oh, it's the god of the, un the underworld. The god of the underworld, that's what they believed. That's what they honestly believed. It's the god of the underworld. There ain't no god of the underworld. There's no god of the underworld. God, they say, oh, the devil is ruling the, the, the devil is ruling the lake of fire. No, he isn't. No one rules the lake of fire. No one. God is the one that created the lake of fire. He controls it. Satan isn't ruling the, the underworld, like they want to say, like they're promoting movies and that, and it's Satan's ruling the underworld. No, he isn't. No one's ruling it. God created it. God controls it. Not Satan, like they want to promote in movies. So this is just all garbage. That's all it is. So they've been, even the Egyptians promoted this occultism. That's where they got all this crap from. And that's why the Illuminati worship the Egyptians so much. Because it's all demonic and Satanism. And now we have this Illuminati pyramid floating around. What a joke. Acting like it's a, a spaceship or something. There we go. You see, aliens. Right there. Ancient alien nonsense. And then we have again, like I said, the phoenix in the background. The rise of the phoenix, then the Illuminati pyramid shooting. Again, Illuminati pyramid in this Anubis garbage. Pyramid again. The pharaoh and... There. Again, then we have there the all-seeing guy. All-seeing guy, yes it is Egyptian writing, but still doesn't matter. And then we have this, they even admit it in ancient art. They admit in ancient art that this, this, this dog here that they, the Egyptians worship is basically the devil's dog. The Anubis is actually the jackal. What is the jackal? If you look up the jackal, where it came from, it's known as the devil's dog. They portray it in the movie Omen, the devil's dog. That's what it's represented to. Why do you think they worship this so much? Because it represents the devil him, him himself again. Again, they have to promote this overlanding on the moon nonsense. This is another song that they made with the fake planets and the solar system. Again, there we go, standing in the Illuminati pyramid, 666 hand sign, one eye symbolism, one eye symbolism, eye of Horus, masters of the sun, more occultism. And as you see, this is what Anubis represents right here. As we see, this is what it represents. Anubis was the most important god of the dead. Nope, no, uh, garbage. But he was replaced during the Middle Kingdom by Osiris. He takes names in connection which he firmly roll, such as he who is upon his mountain, which underscores his importance as a protector of the deceased and their tombs and the title he who is in the place of emblazing, associating him with the process of Mummification, like many ancient Egyptian deities, Anubis assumes different roles. Again, so basically saying that Anubis was God. Garbage, man, absolute garbage. As I said, this head here, the Anubis, if you look at Anubis, it represents the jackal. That's what it represents. As I said, this is what this is. This is the jackal. It's a jackal. The devil's dog. Notice the snakes around it, again proving it's the devil's dog. 
And then we have here the lightning bolt again. And the black and white. Again, the all seeing eye of the Illuminati right there. No denying it's right there. All seeing eye of the Illuminati right there. It's right in front of your face. Again, promoting this planet nonsense that the planets exist. Planets don't exist. Again, Anubis, the god of the dead, he ain't no god of nothing. Again, you see the red eyes. Red eyes simulate demons, simulate demonic possession. So again, and, and again, you notice this symbol here. This represents Alpha or Omega. So again... The, the Egyptians believe that they were gods themselves. And you wonder why Yahweh destroyed them. Because they were prideful. They thought they were God themselves. And Yahweh destroyed them. So as you see, they worship a dog. As I said, go look it up. Go look at Anubis and what it represents. It represents the jackal dog. And then look up further... The jackal dog is known as the devil's dog. So this is why they worship Anubis so much. Because it represents the devil himself. I mean the god of the underworld. There ain't no god of the underworld. There's one god. And it's called the god of heaven. And the god of the underworld. And who is the god of the underworld? Yahweh himself. Yahweh created heaven earth and the lake of fire he created all three he created all three so he rules them satan doesn't rule the underworld that is a lie that they have to continuously promote in hollywood because again let me tell you something the lake of fire is not no partying it's weeping and gnashing of teeth day and night no rest and as you see, this is what it's connected to. What was it? So, that's what it... Let's go back. This here, you see, this is the phoenix right here. The wing, wings of the phoenix. So again, this is what this represents. And the phoenix is connected to the Illuminati. As you see, the new phoenix is destined to live as long as... It's old self, a thousand years. Now what does it say in the Bible? That Christ shall reach in a thousand years on earth. In some stories, the new phoenix emblems that and embols the ashes of its old self in an egg made of myrrh. Again, you see myrrh, myrrh frankincense was given to Jesus Christ. So again, they admit in their own words, this represents the Antichrist, Satan. Deposit it in the Egypt city, which means sun city. In Greek, the sun city is symbolically probably the Masonic city. So why do you think they worship the city of Egypt so much? Because in, in Greek, it represents the Masonic city city now what does the illuminati stand for masonry masonic so now you know why the the illuminati and the freemasons worship egypt so much represents masons since the masons worship the sun and have many ties to egyptian mythology the enabling is the process of caring for the history and culture of the last thousand year empire and taking the parts of the old culture and symbols with you from the that old empire in a new way into the new empire you are now building so again there you go and now we go this is what else they believe a uh, floating illuminati pyramid flying around like a ufo so-called fake ufo here sister joe that's all it is it's garbage and this is what it represents the double-headed phoenix it's the same thing the story of the phoenix comes from ancient egypt so that's where the phoenix came from and that's why the freemasons use it because it originally came from 
It came from the Egyptians. During the origins of the legend of Hermes, the phoenix is said to rise from the flames and ashes of its own burning death. The phoenix symbolizes transformation of consciousness, new age movement that comes from dying and being reborn, much like the Christian concept of resurrection, but it isn't the same as the Christian because this is satanic. Again, the Christian the Christian concept is we we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. That's the concept. We don't believe that we rose from the dead and we are now reborn. No one believes that. We believe Jesus. So this is not the same as Christian concept. It's another lie. Concept of the Eastern idea of reincarnation. Again, reincarnation is not resurrection. This is a lie, and this is what actually people go around saying, that reincarnation is biblical. Reincarnation's in the Bible. No, it isn't. The Bible says it is pointed for man to want to live once and then die, and then after that is judgment. So, no, reincarnation ain't biblical. It's found nowhere. Reincarnation is a Middle Eastern fake garbage. No one reincarnates. There's no second chances. When you die on this earth, that's it. It's over. There ain't no second chances. It's as simple as that. There's no second chances. So as we see, and it, they admit that it represents duality and paradox of the human. So again, it's a cult. It's nothing but a cult. That's all it is. They admit what it means. So and they try to twist it and say that reincarnation's biblical. No, it isn't. No one, nobody reincarnates. No one. Uh, that's an in, in Hindu movement as well. Or oh, when you die, you come back as an animal. It's the most dumbest, stupid thing ever to say. And even so-called Christians out there promote the reincarnations in the Bible. Anyone that promotes reincarnation, stay away from them. They're nothing but a shell. They are a shell because the Bible is against reincarnation. Jesus, when he died, didn't reincarnate, did he? So explain that one. And there we go with the phoenix, that's what it represents, the phoenix. So all these images of this, stuff like this is the phoenix, that's where it came from. It's where the masons adopted it from, Egypt. And then again, in ancient Egypt, cats, cats were considered gods. Cats have not forgotten this. Again, because they did used to worship the, worship the cats as gods. They, they were all... The dog head things were also afraid of them. Well, that's what they say. Because again, cats can simulate, simulate evil. So again, which proves it even more that the Egyptians were evil, that they were demons. They were afraid of cats because cats can see evil in someone. So again, and then like I said, it's just nothing. And again, they even promoting stupid pathetic movies like this. Which is nothing but a garbage movie. Alien vs. Predator. Basically promoting that Predator is a saviour. And then promoting that Alien is the enemy. It's just garbage. Basically promoting that two aliens created Earth. Pathetic. And then they go to this pyramid and then oh, a UFO just comes down from out of nowhere. The movie of Alien vs. Predator is a joke. It's a joke. It's fake. In the movie, they promote right at the end of the movie, they're in a damn spaceship outside the Earth, and they're looking over the Earth. And, and so again, they promote that the... So again, it makes no sense at all. It makes no sense, this movie at all. The, be, because they promote the character Alien, the where it's all black and everything, slime everywhere. That's supposed to be an alien. Now you would think that the alien would be the one coming from the spaceship, but no. In their eyes, this 
this predator here is an alien. It's just garbage, absolute garbage, man. Aliens don't even exist. It's all part of this ancient alien nonsense, which is not biblical, and it's just a myth. That's all it is. It's a myth. These pyramids were not built by no aliens. They were built by man. So as you see, it's just nothing but worship of the Illuminati again. Worship of all this garbage. Because they love the, they love the Egyptians. Because the Egyptians were a cultist just like them. So why wouldn't they worship them? <laughs>